The Rewind the Sports Rewind 60. Sports 60. 60, 60, 60. From the city of big shoulders, the jewel of the Midwest, comes a sports show that's one of a kind. One of a kind. From iconic players to iconic stadiums to iconic teams, this is my kind of town. Chicago! And the Rewind Sports 60 is my kind of show. From Air Jordan to Sweetness to Papa Bear Hallis, this city works hard but plays even harder. Danny Carlino and Jerry Riles bring you the Rewind Sports 60. Live, live, live. The, Rewind the Rewind Sports, Sports 60. 60 starts now. <laughs> We're broadcasting, streaming live on Facebook Live, broadcasting from the world's famous Sierra Nello's Restaurante Italiano, right here in the heart of Wheeling, just outside the greatest city in the world, that of course, Chicago, Illinois. This is the Rewind Sports 60. I'm Jerry Riles. Let's get to our esteemed panel. He is the one. He's the only. He's DC, the Italian Stallion. He's Danny Carlino. What's up, man? Good morning, Jerry. Did you put laughing gas in there? There's some kind of gas in there. I don't know. <laughs> well, what kind, but there's something that's in there for sure. How are you doing? I'm doing well. It's a beautiful weekend. Uh, try to put a bow on, on the weekend and get you ready for the following week. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Looking in style. No, de- it's always in style. It's the Rewind Sports 60. And we're pleased to be joined on the panel. He is the guru of basketball, NBA. Of course, college basketball, his hottest time of the year. And he's also a baseball man as well. Joining us on the panel, he is the one, the only, Dan Marvelous Marver. What's up, buddy? Well, it's great to be here. I mean... It's like the preseason, you're at your third string and you keep moving up. So. Hey, man, just like the Bears. Yeah, right. What are the chances about the, the Bears? He's right. moving on up. Yeah. Woo, going up to yeah. the east side. Yeah. Yeah. There I'm you east go. Side. Weezy. <laughs> Any, anytime you get to say Weezy, man, that's awesome. Exactly. Weezy. And, of course, ladies and gentlemen, he's the one, the only, the best in the business, entertainer, actor, comedian, Chicago's very own. And now new to his uh, title, he is hashtag fake news. He's Kelly Lee Weezy. Hi, I have been dubbed fake news by one of our fans of Rewind Sports 60. Actually got a letter, an angry letter, because I wore I I wear my flag pin upside down as to the signal of distress in America I started last week. And he called me an enemy of the people and fake news because I did this. So but his email address was moo at moo.com. Move. That doesn't sound right. So, Mr. Moo, if you wish to speak, if you wish to have a conversation, come on down, dog. I mean, come on down, cow, and let's have a conversation, all right? <laughs> there were Nazis at the gate last week, and we needed to do this, and we still have problems. So, if you don't think so, go back in your bunker, and maybe we'll talk in a year. <laughs> Get together and share a beef with yeah. each other. Yeah, exactly. He, he can share his beef well, with you. You, 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 you got to be, uh... <laughs> I shut it. Take any of this. You gotta be PC, man. You gotta be PC because you don't know if it's a female or a guy. Oh, I know it's a guy. It's absolutely a guy. Oh, really? There's no, there's no woman that's gonna call themselves a cow. You got a point. You you got a point. I know, but I'm done. Done. Folks, it's past two hours of sports <laughs> conversation. We're running with down. some bull here, that's for sure. Come on down here to Sarah Nello's <laughs> Restaurant Day. Incidentally, we're here every Sunday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. They get started 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. right here at Sarah Nello's Restaurant Day. Roman, our camera operator, take a look at this great omelet put oh, together by man. Chef Derek McIntyre. He is uh, fantastic. You got to love the bacon and the mimosa for sure. This is the best food in the area, ladies and gentlemen. Come on down. Sierra Nello's Restaurante Italiano, that's for sure. And, uh, folks, there's, guys, there's a lot we can talk about. Of course, after a, sh- a short time out here, we're going to talk some Vera football. Game yes. three, preseason game number three against yeah. the Denver Broncos. And uh, the Bears came from behind to win that one, 24-23. Some interesting numbers, some interesting things. But the unfortunate thing that overshadowed their first victory, uh, Matt Nagy's first victory as the Bears head coach, are the injuries. Leonard Ford, Floyd with the uh, hand injury, and of course, Shea McClellan fighting for that tight end position goes out with the, uh, a bad will, a bad ankle, and we'll, uh, we'll get a chance to talk about that. Some highs and some lows regarding our Chicago Bears. And speaking of lows, lows if uh, you're on the campus of The Ohio State University oh. and you're an uh, alum and you're a supporter of uh, the Buckeyes in the great state of uh, like Ohio. Jerry. It, uh, it's, it's, it's D-Day, as they would say, and Urban Meyer and uh, his wife, Shelly, they are uh, walking on eggshells, and the fate of his, uh, his existence, his uh, coaching career, lies in the hands of, uh, 
but I think it's uh, six uh, investigators who uh, wrap things up and they'll hand over their findings to the university president, that of course Michael Drake, and he'll make an announcement later this week, middle part of this upcoming week, on what happens with Urban Meyer moving forward as far as the head coach is concerned. It lies in the hands on how they handle the lies. Donita Lake, our clinical mental health specialist, will be joining us to talk more about that situation. Zach Smith, more allegations and uh, accusations have come out regarding his behavior over the past couple of years as an assistant for the Ohio State Buckeyes, now a former assistant. We'll get a chance to talk with her about that behavior. We'll also get a chance to Talk with Danny Marvelous, Marvel about the Chicago Cubs, and uh, this uh, esteemed panel is Javi Baez, a legit academy candidate Marvel. for MVP <laughs> yes. for the Chicago Cubs. Get an opportunity to talk about that, and uh, I'm sure there are a lot more things that will be coming what? up. J J uh, uh, Jim Tomey, honored by the uh, Chicago White Sox over this <laughs> oh, past White weekend. Sox, right. So, White Sox. Uh, you know, yeah, right, White Sox, right, yeah, right. there's still some good things taking place yeah. over there on the South hey, Side. he grew up a Cubs fan, and they spurned yeah. him when he was a free agent. No they took him to dinner. White Sox, yeah. And then yeah. they gave him a Dear yeah. John letter. Yeah. Although I did, the other, the other night, I did see the best <laughs> pitch of the Sox I've had all oh. season. Did you see the sister Mary Jo from Mary Yes, Catherine? yes. That yes. pitch, that, yes. wow. I was like, what yeah. the? I was at that game, and Were uh, you? several, I mean, well, they only lost three to one. I mean, Kobe he bounced one over the catcher's know. head. How, you know, how short do you have? Right. Know, she, 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 she should make that pitch a habit. That uh, was a great <laughs> pitch. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> wow, that was good. That was really good. I'm looking. Did you see her flip the ball off her, off her forearm, too? It's a, a nun with swag. I mean, <laughs> Danny, that was good. Marvelous. I like that with Danny. That was funny. That was funny with Danny. Uh, we'll, we'll I like it when you quip Danny. I'm hoping Rick Hahn can, can flip her for some first prospects. Wait. Yeah, right. <laughs> so the White Sox have a pretty good uh, bunch of prospects. And hopefully, you know, we'll get a chance to see those guys uh, come on up and more importantly, start battling and get competitive in 2019. Oh, we won't talk too much about the White Sox, but definitely that was it. That was, gonna gonna that was it. Sure. Gonna get, that, that's, we're done, right? We're going to get yes, a good draft. Okay. Okay. When we come back, ladies and gentlemen, we will look more, dive into the Chicago Bears again. 24-23 victory over the Denver Bron Broncos in game three. And... Uh, like I said, some highs and some lows. We'll get a chance to break that down, pick these guys' brains, and see what they thought and in which direction the Bears are going. Will they continue to be mediocre, below 500, or will Matt Nagy get these boys riled up and get them moving toward the uh, the 500 century mark? We'll get a chance to talk about that and much, much more. Keep it locked in. This is the Rewind Sports 60, broadcasting from the world's famous Sierra Nello's Restaurante Italiano, right here in the heart of Wheeling. Keep it locked in. This is the Rewind. It's the end of the quarter. Time for a break of the action. The hottest sports panel in Chicago will get back to the fast-paced action, streaming live on Facebook Live. We're back at it after this quick timeout. So don't you dare touch that iPhone, Android, iPad, Mac, or PC. Lock it in.
the end of the quarter. Time for a break in the action. The hottest sports panel in Chicago will get back to the fast-paced action, streaming live on Facebook Live. We're back at it after this quick timeout, so don't you dare touch that iPhone, Android, iPad, Mac, or PC. Lock it in. If it's Chicago sports you want, you're in the right place. Hello, Chicago! The Rewind Sports 60. That's the best in the city of Chicago. quick review okay it's really easy stuff just like the homework we did last night let's check our answers one in five Illinois children is hungry and hunger makes school a lot harder you can help make a request for school breakfast visit rise and shine Illinois.org today
right place. Hello, Chicago! The Rewind Sports 60. That's the best in the city of Chicago. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Rewind Sports 60 broadcast and from the world's famous Serenello restaurant, the Italiano, right here in the heart of Wheeling. <laughs> Yours truly, Jerry Riles, along with DC, the Italian stallion, Danny Carlino. Marvelous one, Dan Marvelous Marver, and of course, Mr. Fake News himself, <laughs> he's Kelly Lee Wales. <laughs> I am, I am the fake news. And I am the walrus, cuckoo Kachu. Thanks for calling Coo -coo me out, Blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, guys, we get back to the Bears and the quarterback situation. Yeah, let's. Yeah. Let's um, <laughs> Mitchell Trubisky, he's, he's, he's green and he's rough. Around the edges. Who's green, especially if they got nailed into the grass on that yes. safety. Right. Yes. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, <laughs> Real green. Man, I, I, I really, I support this this young guy, and I, and I think he has great potential. And I think he has a great upside. But, man, it, it, it he looked like it was really, really preseason out there to me. He looked like it was really, really preseason. And what was interesting, <laughs> when he threw the interception, his intended target was Tariq Cohen. He's heading to the sideline. He's met by head coach Matt Nagy. And uh, both of them are like, you know, Matt is wondering what Mitch was seeing, and Mitch was complaining, bitching, and moaning, and looking back and pointing toward this guy. And I'm like, dude, from 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 my perspective, from what I saw, and from what the replay show looked like, he just locked in on Tariq, wasn't aware of his surroundings, and the DB, the corner, just stepped up, stepped in, and, and came up with the INT. Yeah. Well, Kelly, let's get. Yeah. <laughs> we got to start. Yeah. With you. What what did you see on that play? I see a quarterback with not enough preseason experience, not enough preseason snaps, not enough preseason anything. This is the third preseason game, guys. I mean, our franchise quarterback does not even look like he's ready to start in two weeks. Mm -hmm. And we're supposed to be all happy and gung-ho and ready to go. And like, yeah, this guy's going to lead us. Lead us where? Mm -hmm. We have no idea where this guy is going to lead us. We have no idea if he's, if he's going to lead us. Yes, preseason, blah, blah, blah. But someday we got to see what's going on on the field. Okay, nice touchdown, but the rest wasn't very good at all. Okay, not at all. You, this is the fourth piece of season came coming out, Jerry. Now, if he doesn't do anything in this game, what are we going to do? We're going to just say, no, okay, gonna, this is just gonna, a preseason. He's, he's going to get some playing yeah. time for sure. Yeah, but if he doesn't do anything with that but playing he got, time. But he got, he got pretty good playing time, Danny Carlino, in this uh, this preseason game against the Broncos. He played pretty much uh, the whole first half. I think, uh, obviously, when they were going through the interview process, they were impressed with Matt Nagy because they interviewed yeah. him, and then they probably still had a couple more guys interview like, I oh, forget that. Right. Let's get this guy an offer. That's right. And, yeah. and, and, you know, I... Certainly, the jury's going to be out. We don't know if he's the, but he was the right choice, either Trubisky or Nagy. But I think the combination of having a head coach who is a quarterback right. by trade, mm -hmm. uh, even though most of his career was in the arena leagues, but there's still there's still something about it. It's a different game. It's it's, it's more geared to offense, but it's a quick game. Right. It's a, you got whatever you do, you better be quick with it. You got to read and you got to react and you got to do it. And and that's something obviously a guy like Trubisky who doesn't who lacks the experience. Uh, needs and so he has someone whispering in his ear that right. that can kind of like you said like you, you thought you saw this but you know when we look at the video you're going to see that the, what right. you saw wasn't right. what was there. It's yeah. like basic tennis like if you look off the receiver I mean he looked at the receiver too much in the interception you know you're taught to as he grows into the role there are things that he has to learn let's see, mechanically. This guy man I mean if he doesn't work out then we got to look at Chase. Oh please. Daniel! Well, don't jump on his bandwagon. Chase, man. He know, he, Chase is, Danny Chase is, knows no. what he's talking about. Let me about. tell you something. Chase, about Chase is better positioned to start for this football team than Mitchell Trubisky. Kate McNown is positioned better well, to start this team wanna, before. I don't even want to hear that guy. Mitchell Trubisky right now. Is he a reality show too? Yes. <laughs> yes. Kate McNown and Jay Cutler. Let's <laughs> put McCown Cutler together. They, and then Cutler, we'll have, we yeah. Cutler. They should be a reality show of all the Bears reject quarterbacks. I mean, they. Hey. Oh, no, it's because it's like every time you mention it, it says like Niagara Falls. Let's so, yeah. get Eric Kramer. It sounds like he packs a punch still. Take it easy. So, yeah. Take it easy. Is this thing on? No. <laughs> Ouch. Kelly, <laughs> you already got one fan mail. <laughs> hey, for? don't hit chicks. No, I. Okay. you're absolutely right. Don't Certainly don't do don't that. Don't do but, it. Uh, yeah, we, uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm not as up uh, in an uproar as, as you guys are. You never are. You no, never I, are. I, I've seen you're, it. Yeah, but you're a true Bears fan, though. I mean, I mean, you're a true Bears fan, but you can be all like, yeah, they're going to work it in and out. But if you've seen, I mean, if you truly dissect what happened with this team in the last couple of years, right from when Trubisky was drafted, remember Mike Lennon? Yeah. No! 
Oh, yeah. but remember when he did that? We knew that the season was going to stink yeah. right from when he screamed when his when that quarterback was drafted. Actually, no, we, we knew, knew the season was going to. We knew it was going to be bad as soon as they signed Mike Lemon because he's not a good yeah. quarterback. Well, yeah, I'm like, what yeah. are we thinking? Why is this man even in a Bears uniform? Well, that's another that's another issue. That's another story. That's but Ryan that's Pace. Not, but the, yeah, that's but, Ryan Pace. But but, but yeah, and is he still there? Isn't Ryan Pace still there? Yeah. Of course. Well, then he shouldn't be. I mean, if if, if this doesn't work out, even the, this year or the well, next this year, is there, should no, be, well, there should be. Hey, come on, man. Well, right. I mean, this is a big year for. Ryan Pace and Mitchell Trubisky. If it was, it wouldn't be Chase Dangle. It's a, it's it, would, a very, it would be a better it's a very, But that's your, your See, Ryan Pace and making those decisions. It's yeah. a very big year for those two individuals in particular. Right. Yeah, but it is. You got to commend Ryan Pace for picking up Rokon Smith. I mean, this guy's probably the best defensive player in the draft. And, you know, the Bears kind of had their pants uh, down around their ankles in this decision as yeah. far as the, the language and the contract is concerned. They finally say, hey, you know what? We need this kid on the football field. Let's work this thing out. Four-year deal, eighteen mil. I think what he got, uh, twelve guaranteed or something like that. Right. So, Sounds worked out to me. But yeah, that, I mean, that was, yeah. But that was a that was a key component, a key addition to this defense already. You know, that's playing prominent football uh, under Vic Fangio. So that was a very, very key pickup for Ryan Pace in the that's Chicago right. Bears defense, and that's what's going to. You talked about uh, the first four games that you think the Bears will probably be one and four. I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they're five hundred. Uh, just because of the defense, just because of the defense. And again, this offense, it's going to take a little while for them to get everything under their belt, but you got some weapons there. And of course, we talked about Jordan Howard, his performance in, in this game against the Broncos. He looked very, very good. And he's been the top, uh, or the top three running, one of the top three running backs of the past couple years uh, in the National Football League, one behind Ezekiel Elliott. So he has this skill he has the tools and he can get the job done you look very good but again now you're talking about we the tight end situation jay uh, shay mcclellan is out because of the ankle injury we don't know how serious it is as far as the show is concerned uh, we don't know if he's out you know indefinitely or whatever but trey burke coming to the bears he is a fine fine welcome addition and you know the chicago bears which they have gotten away from over the years are going to start to implement using that tight end again and Tariq cohen the human joystick Kevin White, we didn't get a chance to talk about him, but he stretched the football field. Trubisky gets the ball downfield, pass interference. That was something that was positive. So I'm not, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the Bears could somehow, some way, play some 500 football. When we come back, we're going to get, is there anything else you want to no, talk about? Look at Kelly. Look at you know, Kelly. Hey, when we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about Chase Daniel in the Chicago. Oh, why? Right. Why? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we'll get into some conversation regarding the Ohio State Buckeyes. Donita Lake, she will be joining us. She, to break it down, clinical mental health specialist for the Rewind Sports 60. Yours truly, Jerry Riles. Andy <laughs> Carlino, the Stallion. Stallion, marvelous Marvin, Dan Marver, and of course, the one, the only, Kelly Lee Williams. More on the Rewind Sports 60 coming up right after this short timeout. Lock it in. It's the end of the quarter. Time for a break of the action. The hottest sports panel in Chicago will get back to the fast-paced action, streaming live on Facebook Live. We're back at it after this quick timeout, so don't you dare touch that iPhone, Android, iPad, Mac, or PC. Lock it in.
Before we move on, let's do a quick review, okay? It's really easy stuff, just like the homework we did last night. Let's check our answers. One in five Illinois children is hungry. And hunger makes school a lot harder. You can help. Make a request for school breakfast. Visit riseandshineillinois.org today. If it's Chicago sports you want, you're in the right place. Hello, Chicago! The Rewind Sports 60. That's the best in the city of Chicago. Welcome back to the Rewind Sports 60, streaming live on Facebook Live. Now, let's get you back to the hottest sports panel in Chicago. Hello, Chicago! Lock it in. You gotta love it, folks. We're up in the, uh, the bar area on the second floor of the world's famous <laughs> Sierra Nemo's restaurant, the Italiano. Your truly Jerry Riles, the Italian Stallion, Danny Carlino, Marvelous Marver, Dan Marver, and of course the choked up one, uh, <laughs> Kelly. Is <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's feeling verklempt? And I'm verklempt, a little verklempt. He's just choked up because he can't believe that Chase Daniel is in the oh running to be the starting quarterback. <laughs> Chase Daniel is not in the run to be the starting quarterback. I, I don't, I don't, I don't. No, I, his well, profession I, 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 is holding a clipboard and being a yeah, punching yeah, yeah. bag for the practice yeah, squad. Right. Do not let this yeah. man start no. any game ever. Ba barring injury. Ever. Ever. Barring injury, I, I don't, I don't know. He right. do that. No, no, Mitchell Trubisky will be, he, uh, be he's, he's I guess the Packers call him signals. He's assistant coaches, a yeah. quarterback coach, basically. He's, 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 like I said, he knows the system. He's like, like uh, there's value in that. You know, with Peanuts and Charlie Brown, he's like Linus with the blanket. He's radio. He's, he's Matt Nagy. He uh, he's, he's Matt he's the Nagy. Blanket. Right, he's the yeah. blanket. He's radio with a clipboard. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who's Linus? Touchdown! Who's Linus's thumb? Oh, jeez. <laughs> so Shannon, so that. <laughs> you got me. Sorry. No. I'm not going, I'm not touching that Mitchell one. Mitchell Trubisky, 9 yes. of 14, uh, 72 yards, one touchdown, one interception, and of course the uh, the safety that was called 
uh, during the first half of the game. Got some pretty good action, but he looked he looked rusty. I mean, let's let's be real. Of course, he looked rusty. He looked rusty. But <laughs> during you know, we talked about the Bears uh, heading to to Colorado to face the Broncos prior to the preseason game, and from the reports that were coming out, uh, Chase was having a better even practice against you know some some different folks. We're talking about and practice. that's a problem too. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I mean, pra- we talk about practice. <laughs> practice. Practice. Practice makes perfect. There you practice. go. There you go. But the two not days, a game. The two day- not a game, but practice. We talking about Chase Daniel looking good in practice. And, I, and he actually and, looked good in the but, third but, preseason game too. In and, the fourth quarter, and, and off of, of practice. And off of that, off of that, as I said in the previous segment. This team has a lot of questions and very yeah. few answers. Yeah. Very few answers. Well, that's that's fine. They're going to learn more. Uh, the test isn't they're going to learn the answers <laughs> this week. Doing they're coming home, Kansas doing City. Film oh yeah, yeah. they're oh, going to yeah. learn in film session. Uh, they, they know. Yeah, they know. Yeah, but they got to deal. They figure out how to deal with these questions now. Well, they know what to deal with it, man. Yeah, okay, we'll see. They go out and go to work. One and four, baby. <laughs> one and four. One and three. So one and three. marvelous, marvelous. If you can, yeah. can let, we can, let's go up the uh, the, the well, schedule they, and take they, a look. They, now they, they open up against Green Bay. Right. Then they have Seattle. Seattle. So yep. what do you? That, that's one and one slate. Two and zero oh and two. <laughs> number one. I'm, I'm, going, I'm, I'm going 0 and 2 because you know what? The, the Packers are going to pound them in the. In the I mean, I don't it's, Aaron know about it's Aaron Rodgers. It's Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, I don't. But, I mean, his, his, who, who does he have around him that, I mean, they've got to play themselves into regular games. Aaron Rodgers can have a sister marry or the poor around him, and he can uh. still beat the Chicago Bears 35 to 10. Well, if Leonard Floyd with <laughs> okay. that banged up uh, arm, if he can uh, put some pressure right. on him, I'm telling you. Right. And, and Rokon Smith, he's definitely going to be in the starting lineup, and uh, Trevathan, despite the hamstring, you can bet believe he's probably going to be out there. The Bears and Vic Fangio are going to throw some different schemes and different looks at Aaron Rodgers. And, and he's not going to know those as schemes. Long as, okay. as long as he, the Bears are confusing at offensive line and they're not sure who's okay. coming where and who's doing what, okay. Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> like you know what Aaron Rodgers is going to do? Running for his life? You know what the, no, he's going to be throwing schemes, new schemes at the rookie linebacker. That's what he's going to be doing. He's going to be confusing the rookie linebacker. The rookie linebacker hasn't played all preseason and he's going to look Mm-hmm. The, the whole defense is just going to look bad against Aaron Rodgers. Right. Gonna, I mean, it's, it's going to happen. It'll be Arizona and Tampa in three and four. You were asking about the schedule. So. Yeah. Okay, Arizona and Tampa. I mean, that those are Tampa, there's a win. There's your one and three. Arizona, that's shaky, but that is your, Tampa's going to be your win. Right. They can, they can, they can, uh, they can get Arizona. Mm-hmm. That's why I think a two and two slate. As right. down as I am by the Bears, I'm not particularly high on Tampa or and of course, Seattle team. Exactly. Seattle team, like, yeah, Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson right. is still there, but, I mean, they're Seattle in name only at this point. Yeah, exactly. exactly. But it's still Seattle, and the Bears are still the Bears, and it, it will, I'm telling you, this is not going to happen. Yeah. I mean, I, I wish I was a betting man. I can't bet because I had a lot of gambling problems in my family. But, 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 but um, bet? Yeah, no bet. <laughs> but bet, bet, exactly. You do but, um, better, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I yeah. can't do it. But if well, I were one and three, and I'd be cleaning up. We're joined by Donita Lake. Yeah. Uh, Donita! Yeah. I'm here. Because she knows and, uh, we need help. We're, we're, we're running short on time, so. We're, help, Donita, help us. We're transitioning from uh, the Chicago Bears and, and what's going on with them. And, again, uh, Marvelous Marver, yeah. uh, Kansas City to. Yeah. Bears will be taking on uh, game four of the, right. uh, the preseason. Right, then so. they have Buffalo. They have another game after Kansas exactly. City. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. So, you know, the preseason long for the Bears. And, uh, again, Kelly, at the end of the day, I understand you talk about playing time and get some reps uh, under their belt. But at the end of the day, you need a 53-man healthy roster to take in to Green Bay to start the regular season. And a better quarterback that has more than 13 yeah, but you already had starts. Two, you had two key players go down already, and we, we don't know the extent of the injuries as far as this broadcast is concerned. But, I mean, those are two crucial injuries that the Bears certainly weren't looking for. And, again, the, 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 the longer they're out on the football field, the higher the risk of the injury. And if you go in there with a banged up, uh, depleted 53-man roster, you're going to get closer to that 2-14 right. and 14 slate as opposed yep. to closing in on 500. And right. that's the reason why you you limit the play of your, your, your starters. You limit the play of those key players because you want to make sure they get through preseason. Mm-hmm. But they you're also not, have to be in camp, you too. If you, you don't, don't sign them, mm-hmm. they're not in camp. if they're not in camp, Smith, they, can't, yeah, they can't learn anything. Roquan Smith signing him not until after the third preseason, near the third preseason game, not doing what they should have done at the beginning at a 5-11 Bears team, signing their number one pick. <laughs> should have done anything they should have done to put him in the first day. They did not. That's on them. Well, no, okay. that's business. That's business. And, and that's on them. I understand. Well, I mean, you, and that's you, on the Bears. you're working with an agency that uh, some people – you know, kind of uh, do a, a stink eye toward. Uh, it, it, you got to handle business appropriately because if you don't, again, away from the football field as far as business is concerned, if you let the, the player dictate what's going on, 
you won't be in business for long. And the Bears have been around for quite some time. So if Roquan Smith wants to play some football in the National Football League, he, he, he hired the agency. He tells the agent, right. I want to get out there on the football field. I want to play. Let's get this deal done. So they, are they taking the money out of his uh, the bonus if he gets the fines? Then I guess he got what he wanted. <laughs> well, that's the whole purpose. It, it's called negotiating. And he got what he wanted. It's called negotiating. If he shouldn't have to negotiate. Should, Bears should have done it's it in the business, beginning. Kelly. This was this was going to happen anyway. He was going to get what he wants because the Bears are not a good team. If they were the Patriots, wow. they would be able to do all this dancing and hemming and hawing. When you're the Bears at five and eleven, you can't do that. Well, beggars can't be choosers, right? Bingo. Yeah. Well, there you go. Well. It is what it is. <laughs> um, so, so, but you can't confuse the business side right. of, and, and what's right. going on on the field. True that. You, you simply can't do that. And and the, yeah. you, again, it's investing in a, in a product. You're investing millions of dollars in these athletes. And your job as, as management and owners is to get them ready for action. And True that. that means limiting their time of play as far as uh, these preseason games are concerned. That's a smart business move as far as mm -hmm. I'm concerned. And, uh, it, it, you understand, and we're going to transition to the Ohio State situation, but you have to understand football now is a 12-month, year-long commitment. Right. It's not like back in the day where, you know, the season is over and then you can go, you know, bail hay or, you know, take on a second, second job, job whatever. You to, if, yeah. if, you're, if you are not conditioning your body year-round and, and you come into camp out of shape, and a lot of these guys... Some of the younger guys more than the older guys, the veteran guys, but they, they take, you know, two, three months off. They may take, you know, February, March, part of April off thinking they're okay, and then they start to get in the weight room and, and work out where there are other guys, the superstars, who are working year-round. And at the end of the day, you see it in training camp, you see it in preseason, you see it in the regular season. The guys who worked extra hard during the offseason and for 12 months, those are the guys that usually prevail. The ones who don't are usually the ones on the sideline. It's just the nature of the biz the business, it's the nature of the game, and that's how it goes. Mm -hmm. We're transitioning right now, pleased to be joined by, she is fantastic, ladies and gentlemen, clinical mental health specialist, Donita Lake, joining us on the program to talk about this unfortunate situation that's taking place. And I say unfortunate, not because, uh, partly because it affects the Ohio State Buckeyes and their, their, their football program and their uh, national championship winning coach, uh, Urban Meyer, but the fact that these sort of things are taking place on the collegiate level and it's taking place by people who are placed uh, and hired and put in a uh, leadership position and a, a position of authority yes. and they're misusing that and we talk about they regarding Zach Smith the former assistant coach for the Ohio State Buckeyes he was a uh, grad assistant with Urban Meyer back in the early uh, mid to 2008, 2009 down in Florida, and more ugly things continue to surface as far as his character is concerned. Initially started with the uh, alleged domestic abuse with his now uh, ex-wife, and that of course is uh, Courtney Smith, who come out with all the allegations saying that uh, he hit her, beat her, uh, their pictures, their uh, text messages, their recordings, and now we've learned in the past few days that Zach Smith was receiving over $2,000 of uh, sex toys delivered to the Ohio State University football office and of course when the Buckeyes won the national championship and they paid the visit to the White House that he was actually taking some pictures of his person Yes. and she's come out with all of this allegations and uh, saying this guy is not who you really think he is and he's being protected by the university and now Urban Meyer, uh, the fate lies in the hands of the investigative team that came together and they look at uh, uncover all of this and now place it into the hands of the president that of course Michael Drake and we'll see if Urban Meyer will be the head coach of the Ohio State Buckeyes moving forward. What was your reaction when you had a chance to hear and read the story of Zach Smith's latest uh, allegations and accusations that took place? Well, you know, from a mental health perspective, and I think I put this in, in perspective from a psychological standpoint, it seems as though Zach may be yeah. suffering from some form of hypersexuality, which is a condition that meets the symptomology that, you know, is being reported in terms of his behavior. So we can see that uh, he has certain urgencies around his sexual behavior, certain thoughts perhaps, we don't know, but we can conclude that there are some psychological mm -hmm. issues that's going on there that far exceeds 
uh, what's going on on the field and some of these um, symptoms can contribute to the abuse that his wife has experienced. You know, and that's pretty interesting. And, yeah. and thank you for, for, for breaking that down the way that you did because, you, you know, everybody I think has some type of vice. I think everybody has something that, you know, <laughs> here's the thing but, don't get stuff delivered to your work exactly but here's the deal here's the deal you're right don't get two thousand dollars worth of sex toys delivered to your office, office but or, that's a perpetuation you know, of right. the behavior because it's about uh intensity frequency duration being able to be sexually pleasured uh having those uh feelings uh that are not being stimulated so he's seeking outside of the norm so therefore, his behaviors are perpetuated of those type of getting text messages, sending text messages, uh, receiving uh, toys and things of that nature in the mail. Uh, that's all an indication that there is some other psychological issues. Well, he's probably. been alleged to have had a, a relationship with a grad assistant at the University of Illinois in the football offices. Yes. Now, so that's 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 where I, I want to go, Donita. Is he feels so comfortable? Yeah. that he can have these items delivered to the football offices and also engage in, in activity with a young lady, a, a, an administrator at the university in the football yeah. office. But now he escalates it in, on his trip to the White House, taking pictures of his person, yes. but also with the uh, presidential seal that he's in the bathroom Being with the towel. Yes. And he, <laughs> he, he is so enamored with him that, I mean, does it happen that you get blind? Because you what do. are you going to do with the picture of the presidential seal and your 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 your, your little buddy with Wait, you? I heard if you do that often <laughs> enough, you do go blind. <laughs> Here <laughs> comes my junk. It's a really poor tent. I mean, seriously. He's not even considering that when he's in that state of mind. Yes. So we have to look at, like I said, the symptoms that are associated with hypersexuality uh, and these uh, major urgencies that become a person. You know, where he has to fulfill those particular uh, needs in order to feel a sense of normalcy. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times people are seeking out these behaviors to mask other areas in their lives where they suffer from anxiety, stress, depression. Mm -hmm. These are their uh, sexual seeking behaviors to kind of counter what they're experiencing. So he's not thinking in terms of his environment where he's at. He's only meeting the urgency of his needs at okay. that time. Okay. So let me let me uh, ask this if question. If that is in fact the case. We're on clinical uh, <laughs> with our clinical mental health specialist Donita Lake here on the Rewind Sports oh. 60, joining us to regarding the Ohio State Buckeyes and the latest that have uh, uh, occurred over the past week regarding the football program. We also so want to let's go Mrs. to for us out. the kids the themselves, flower. the players. Sure. Now. They have to prepare for a September 2nd uh, football game to start the regular season. And uh, Coach Day, Ryan Day, who has been uh, the uh, interim active head coach right now, has to keep these kids uh, focused. I know that this past week they went to uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce were at uh, the Horseshoe in Columbus yes. for a concert, and the football team uh, had a chance to, to, to see them. Uh, to try to take their minds off all this stuff that's transform, you know, is taking place. How, how, how does that affect these impressionable 18, 19, 20-year-old kids who are in, uh, so to speak, the prime of their, uh, well, not the prime, but they're in a high moment of their sexual curiosity. Absolutely. And to see that your uh, assistant coach. Your adult. Adult, adult who's supposed right. to be a leader. A supervisor. Yeah. Who's supposed to, right, supervise these kids and keep them on the right track is probably engaging in more of these illicit acts of uh, misconduct than the kids themselves. Sure. How do you keep that as a balance, whether you're the acting head coach, whether you're administrator, whether you're the athletic director, or you're the, the president at The Ohio State University? You do exactly what they're doing, uh, using a cer sort of diversion therapy to divert their attention away from the focus of what's going on and give them other activities and things that are more uh, privy to their age group, taking them to a concert, uh, talking about what actually goes on in the game and what ex the expectations are. So basically just having that language around it and educating them on, you know, what's going on. If we look at statistics, we see that uh, 
54% of people say by the age of 18 or before the age of 18, they have experienced mm. some bouts of hypersexuality. Mm. And about 30% say that those problems become more pr problematic really? between the ages of 18 and 25. So we can't dismiss the fact that these younger athletes have probably already experienced this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and had some experience around it. So I think bringing a therapist in, uh, having someone on the front lines to discuss these issues openly and not stigmatize uh, right. the issues or try to put them on the back burner and play like they don't exist. Gotcha. The best thing to deal with this is to deal with it openly and to have these open discussions with, with, the, with the players. You know what? Jerry, your man got to go. Urban Meyer has but to now, go. Now, some people say, uh, why does he have to go? Because should okay. he... He didn't, he didn't okay, acknowledge, no. allegedly. Why does yeah. he have to go? Because it's the culture. The culture has to change. Yeah, right. He knew. You know why he knew? Because this man, like you said, was comfortable enough to get his stuff in his office. Yeah. Urban yeah. Meyer knew. Yeah. Urban Meyer knew he was getting those sex toys in his yeah. office. Why? He did it in Florida. This is not something that you do once. This is a repetitive oh. issue. He's done it before, he's had these issues before, and Urban Meyer knew about these issues. But and Urban he didn't Meyer, do anything about it. But Urban Meyer, what, what <laughs> and, I, and, I, and it, it, it's, it's all language, and you, you got a point. I don't know if Urban knew, I don't know. He had to. We can, we, he didn't have to. Joe Paterno didn't know, did he? We, we can speculate. Supposedly, Joe Paterno, but we, he had to go well, because anyway. Because someone told him, someone told Joe Paterno, and Joe Paterno said, let's look For toward the authority it. and let yeah. them handle it. Someone I don't know if someone told Urban Meyer that Zach Smith is receiving a box of items because if UPS, FedEx come to your, your you door with a box, box, you don't know what's in the box, Kelly. You don't. So I don't know. And if, if a box comes... Security guards, a, yeah, you cameras, got, right, right, you witnesses, no. other players, Kelly, other coaches. Kelly, Are you telling me that on. none of them knew about sex toys coming to that artistic coach's office how would, and everybody didn't how find would, out about how it? How would they know? How well, would hey, they know? The box was buzzing. Maybe. <laughs> it was shaking, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if the, the, the sending address has more than three X's in it, it's probably... <laughs> Seriously, Kelly, but people in this day and age, people are getting packages delivered to their homes, to their offices, every single day and multiple times a day, all right? Can't make excuses for these people. No, we're anymore. not making excuses, but no. if I get a box delivered to me and I take it into my office and close my door, you, you don't know, anyone does not know the contents that are in that in, in, the, in the box there. So to say that Urban Meyer knew about this, I think we're being a little bit irresponsible as far as the facts are concerned because we simply don't know what they are. That's now, that's why I asked, why should Urban Meyer lose his position? The only, because he didn't lie in, uh, under oath. He wasn't in the court of law when he lied. He was at a Big Ten luncheon when he was blindsided by the question and he lied and said he didn't know anything about it. He, it's not he just, should not be in, He should not lose his job because he lied to the media. That should, happens all the time. He should lose his job because he covered for his assistant coach for his mystic abuse. He did he not knew. cover. He did. He knew about the domestic abuse because his wife told him. He, his right. wife and told him reported, about the abuse. He reported it to the athletic director, Gene Smith. When? When it happened back in 2015. How many times? I don't know how many times we, he reported I mean, there's got to be a record. No excuse. Listen, None. It's, well, there's no excuse. Urban Meyer is being crucified. And he should be. But from public opinion. He hired this Not man. Because, and he fired the man too. But he hired him in the first place. But he fired him. He but, knew what was going on, Jerry. He you, fired him. And people deserve, don't you agree, a second chance. No. So he screwed up his Not these order. days. Not after the Me Too movement. Not after well, Jerry Sadusky. Not after Jim Jordan. And these... And these uh, also happening in Ohio State, the wrestlers, the wrestlers that are talking about That's being right sexually assaulted. And what did that being, guy do? And he, Jim Jordan saw himself. everything, and, did, and yeah, he killed himself, but nobody, and still nobody's going to jail for it. I, I think it's fair for you to, to give the benefit of the doubt in general, but at a certain point, the Ohio State University is going to be like, we like you, Urban, you do, you're a great coach, but we, right or wrong, we can't afford to have this stuff still around. And you, whether you knew or you didn't, you whether you knew or you didn't, you brought him in here. Yes, you so, brought him in. You, be, you bear, you bear at least the responsibility no, no, no. for that. No, Coach goes no, down guys, with his shit. You guys have to understand. He followed the protocol as I far get, as his, his contract was concerned. He reported the incident to Gene Smith. Now, it's supposed to move up the, the the chain of command. Gene Smith, what did that happen? Did he did he go to the the, the president? Michael Drake and say, hey, this is what happened, or did he say, okay, let's let's see what the story is? That's the point. Urban Meyer took a, took it to where he was supposed to take it under his contract. He is supposed to report any type of incident that took place. If we have to use under his contract and the excuse, 
he needs to go. Period. He it's going to follow Kelly, him along. Kelly, the only thing he did gonna, was he lied gonna to, to the media. That's the only thing that Urban Meyer did. He lied. Danita, what are, your, what are your thoughts before we say goodbye? I think it's good that it's been brought to the forefront right now, mm -hmm. and if he has to be used as an example, yes. once again, we can look at both sides of the coin, as Jerry has said, as you have said, but ultimately what we need to do is bring in a team of professionals to address these issues right up front, up close and personal, and hold the people accountable who should be held accountable, and in this case, is Zach Smith. Yes, Indeed. and that's exactly it. Yeah. And, and the Buckeyes, Danny, Marvelous, yeah. your, your thoughts, they, they acted yeah. swiftly. Urban Meyer said, hey, you know what? Yeah. He said, we gotta let this guy go. We and have to did. let him go, and he let him go. He, he did go. his that's job. Good. That's he did great. his job. So that's what I don't understand, Marvelous. Gonna happen. What are the penalties? That, I mean, he did what he was supposed I, to do. I mean, yeah. he, I, th I mean, probably what's going to happen is as, as, as Meyer is going to go, but whether that's right or wrong, that's what's ultimately going to happen. In my sure, opinion. sure. Yeah. Hey, guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. It is the fastest <laughs> hour in sports. <laughs> <Yeah. conversation. laughs> this is the Rewind Sports 60. I'd like to thank right. Donita Lake for joining us always. And uh, I tell you, it's, it's a beauty having you on because we got some very uh, – <laughs> Meaty topics to, well, uh, to talk about Beauty and the Beast. Right. Yeah, <laughs> these are some beast of stories. She has oh, to no, she certainly not does. just does a, a yeoman's job. If anyone wants to get a hold of you to talk more, if they have any issues, whether it's a battle of depression, whether it's a battle of addiction, uh, if they want to get a hold of you, how can they reach you? You can reach me by mobile at 708 580 2030. That's 708 580 2030. You reach out, I promise I will reach back. Donita Lake, she does a fantastic job here, of course, at the Rewind Sports 60. On behalf of Danny Carlino, the Italian Stallion, Dan Marvelous Marvin, of Go Cubs! Kelly Lee <laughs> Williams! This has been another edition of the Rewind Sports 60. Yours truly, Jerry Riles, and guys, thank you so very much. Check us out on Comcast Access Tuesday, 6 o'clock in the Lake County area, Channel 17. Wednesday, 7 p.m. in the northern suburbs, Channel 19 and Channel 35. And, of course, CLTV every Tuesday morning, 3 a.m. Check your local listings if you're in the city of Chicago. Folks, have a fantastic rest of your day, rest of your weekend, a fabulous this week and we'll see you next time right here from the world's famous Sierra Novo's restaurant the Italiano here in Willie. Take care everybody. Have a good one. Lock it in. Good night.
place. Hello, Chicago! The Rewind Sports 60. That's the best in the city of Chicago.